Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota RAV4 SE. Now the most notable features on this SE is its power monitor if you have your blind spot monitoring as well as your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota RAV4 SE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SC is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your blacked out mirrors as well as your foldable mirrors and taking a look just on the inside of the mirror you're going to see your blind spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator it will actually light up just looking if there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. This is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Black Courant. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support over on the left hand side you have your mirror controls as well as your lane departure alert heat steering wheel all uh, sorry all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release on the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks power locks and window controls with your front and rear windows now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control seek function bluetooth as well as your mode select, voice recognition, scroll function for the multi-informational display with your cruise control and it does have the push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here so if we actually go through you have your distance to empty, fuel economy, eco indicator, all wheel drive and sway warning. But you can also go through and take a look at your uh, compass, audio, lane departure alert, messages, and settings menu with the lane departure alert pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, as well as a couple of other additional features as well. Now, taking a closer look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your hazard lights up top. You'll see your traction control on and off. Now, parents, if you're worried about your kids not buckling up their seat belts, those indicator lights located right beside it won't actually turn off until they've actually buckled up. And if you go inside the apps menu, you have your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. You have the XM satellite radio on here with your dual zone climate control settings. Underneath, you'll find your eco and sport mode with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, USB and auxiliary input with your window wiper de-icer and power outlet. It's mounted to an automatic transmission. And taking a look up top, you have your auto-dimming rearview mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass, along with the open and closed and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate and how located on the back of your tailgate. You're going to see your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located just underneath your Toyota emblem. Now closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you have a cargo cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. You have a 60-40 split for your rear seat, so if you need the additional space, it, sorry, it's available to you. And you have some space underneath the floor there where you can hide away smaller items. And underneath the floor, you'll find your under the floor storage space. Well, I should say for the cargo cover because you can lay it flat on top on the spare tire as well as the jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch and you need more additional cargo room, you can just place the cargo cover underneath and then use it afterwards when you're all finished. Now you do have a power adjustable tailgate, so all you have to do is just hold down the button for approximately two seconds of the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this maximum height. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. 
Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.